Morning everybody, Swiss Chef for Strange Education with the four major notice update for the 26th of May 2011. Gonna look at our four pairs this morning, four majors looking or well, starting with the euro against US dollar. Daily interesting. We have now found a support level. Uh, three consecutive days of candle wicks staying above the 14.0500 mark and last night on the Asian market trading session we've had price rise quite significantly overnight great up trade um, notice we still got lower swings I ideally would like to see the break of those swings if you look at it that way we're looking at roughly the 20 period moving average at around if I'm not mistaken the 2500 mark, 142500 mark, or 142700. So there, thereabouts. Or we could look at the previous lower swing here. Swing, lower swing, up. So roughly around the 142500 is ideally our first target for this pair. So if it stays above at this current rate, then we should be looking for upside moving to 142500. CTC is negative. Not quite negative. I'd, ideally, you'd like to see the red on either side to give you that, but it's just given us a heads up signal. So, heads up, heads up, and you can see we're pretty much going sideways, even though it's the downside. But momentum drop isn't as significant as we saw in the start of this downtrend. And that's primarily because we're trading there, thereabouts around the 1400 mark, which is a long term support and resistance level. So, intraday, 14.2500 is our all systems go mark that's in our four hour time frame you can see high swings dictating price action it's now trading about the 50 period moving average and the previous breakout level prior resistance resistance bang and trading higher so 142500 on a daily is going to be there and if you look at it, the trend for this time frame, there we have it. So in that area is likely where we'd like to go to. You can see the CTC is extended. It's gone blue on a four hour, so that means on an hourly, we should have exactly the same outlook. And again, 14, 2500, we put those in. We could stay above the 20 per, uh, the 200 period moving average. Then we should be looking for further extensions higher. It just bodes well. A lot of momentum in this trade to the upside. And let's look for higher highs. Um, ideally, if you're looking at your intraday, then you'll notice that it's now broken above the Asian high at 14.17. If you can stay above there, then obviously we can see further extensions. Higher. This is on a five minute chart, guys. So I'm going to chart up. CTC is in our favor. It's broken a previous high on this time frame. If we can find support above 14, 1700, then look for further upside movement. So have a look at your 30 minute, for example. Slight pullback in the grip, but if you can stay above that area there, 14, 1650, 1700, then look for further progressions higher. Notice this up candle. The pullback, and we've just tested the 38.2 for extension of this initial move to the upside. So, ideally, we're looking for 100% extension of this, and 100% would take us to roughly the 142500 mark, which I mentioned on a daily time frame is our potential target. Okay, so that's it for, st uh, for cable. Look for further progression. If you're looking for an entry level, then look for a possible pullback. If that pullback is able to stay higher than the 14.1650 mark or 14.1700, then expect further extensions. If it fails and breaks lower, then we could see further consolidation. Um, ports of call, we could be looking at, there's a strong one here at 14.14, we 
breaks all the moving averages it could be falling down to as low as that on the five minutes or 15 minute chart if break below that then obviously we're going to see further uh, downside movements and we could be looking at the 14.11.50 mark which is going to be in time with the 200 period moving average for the five minute chart so just keep that in mind guys next up is cable let's have a look at the daily time frame okay here again we're now testing the underside of the 50 period moving average it's just broken above a previous resistance level quite a significant one in support above 162500 mark and now if we could stay above 162500 then we should be able because you notice beforehand we had swing lows another swing low and a swing low this candle now is broken above both these two swing lows over here which is at 162500 and the asian market trade higher has now seen a break higher and is testing the 50 period moving average. If you can stay above that level and close higher in the course of today, then it's breaking back up again. And the moving averages, which were a negative sign, now it's going to be a positive sign. We're trading up all the moving averages. And so this is going to lead to intraday um, bullishness. So on an hourly, four hour, 30 minutes, you should be able to see upside movement. Let's have a look. Yep, there we go. So we know that 162500 is a long-term support and resistance level. You can see we've broken above that line now and we're consolidating at a previous support area roughly around the is that the 163300 mark and the 200 period, uh, period moving average is not too far off so and we have a higher swing on this time frame so swing high is good. So we need to see ideally trade and break above this major resistance here at 163300 mark and a break above the 200 period moving average so as it stands now let's look at a 30 minute chart for example notice the extensions higher swing high slight pause breakout swing higher swing higher swing higher support area breakout and that's what's doing now. So ideally what we want to do is see a price trading well above the 163300 mark as I mentioned. And by doing so, while we're confirming further progression to the upside, just be aware that there's a strong level of possible resistance. If I can just look at it daily, at roughly the 163600 mark or 36500 mark. Prior resistance and support in the past. So if we break above that, we're going to get a lot of consolidation primarily because of that. So And that's going to be coming into play in that 4-hour, which is the 200 period moving image in the 4-hour time frame, as I mentioned. So be aware of consolidation. So the first thing it needs to do today, Sterling, is obviously stay above this prior breakout area or resistance area you can see here. Around the 1628.5 to 16.290 mark. If we can stay above this, they'd expect further extensions higher. If it falls and closes lower, then we could see slight consolidation 16.2650, and then obviously a drop lower if it falls below that. So look for further progression upside, a break above 16.300 would be ideal for further entries to the upside. Okay, next up is US dollar Swiss franc. Notice that we've seen negativity and a lower swing, and since then, a break of the prior uh, support area. We saw roughly here, which is a prior resistance level and negativity broke through yesterday and you can see the Asian market taking the slightly lower CTC is still uh, negative long term and we have lower swings you can see bang failure failure squeeze breakout and sure enough you see price fall lower so ideally our next target would be it's now testing the prior swing or resistance level here and if it can stay below that level, then obviously we should be looking at further extensions down to the 860 mark at least. 
So what it needs to do is stay lower than the 8713 mark. So 8713 intraday. Look at our 8713. There we go. You can see in the four hours just broken through. Swing lows dictating very sharp decline in price. And I was trading below another support and resistance level. And now what we should be looking for is opportunities extensions down to the 80, the 85.60 mark at least. CTC is negative. Hourly, exactly the same thing. Break below 87.110. Swing low, swing low. So you can see price action lower that time frame and the short term even lower. So look for further extensions as I mentioned. Possible pullback to, to start with, but then look for further re entries to the downside. So those will come from your 50 minute and 5 minute candles. Just be aware of them. See that? Support, support. Support, a lot of indecision, then bang, breakout. So now, same thing. You can see the support happening over here on a 15-minute candle. Look for confirmation, break below that. Um, and then look for further trades to the downside, 86.95. CTC is well extended, negative. You can see swing direction, trading below all the moving averages. And just recently, the, the direction of the trend is even sharper. Confirming the break. So notice the squeeze pattern forming on this. If I just pull back, you can see. Number of touches stronger than the, the actual trend. This is where we are now. Bang, bang. Where to next is the next question. So ideally, we could be looking at 8880, 8, 60, even further, to be honest with you. So heads up with that. Still looking for further downside moving for this pair. Okay, last pair of the day is US dollar against Japanese yen. Let's have a look at daily. Hmm, ceiling level. 8200 is battling to break up of 8200. You can see it's failure, failed, 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 failed. Still failing. The US dollar is failing to break up of 8200, so it's confirming. Not only that, that 8200 being around number is a strong resistance and we also have the 50 period in, in play. Um, notice that we have had higher swings and we are now coming to that area where we should see a significant move. It's being squeezed now between two points. We've got to have something give. Uh, Asian market trading, we've seen it trading lower. The US dollar is trading lower against Japanese yen after the indecision. What we'd like to see is a decision candle. If that decision is bearish, then we see a nice bearish engulfing which will engulf all of this uh, indecision. And we'll definitely confirm that if we have a break of that area here to start with, the prior support area and the 20 period moving average, in fact, so just, just above the 8150 mark, then we should be looking for downside movement, which should take us back to the 8100. Slight pause at 8070 and then way back down to the 80 again. So definitely places for target areas. Ideally, if you want to see further progression for this pair, it needs to be trading above the 8200 mark, and it's failed to do a close above those areas, confirming that there's more indecision, and if that indecision, the longer that indecision sticks into play along that area, there's likelihood that we're going to see a trade to the downside, and US dollar is going to lose faith. So look for intraday um, targets to be roughly around the 8150 mark to start off with. So let's look for setups to the downside. Testing the 4 hour time frame, 200 period moving average, and the 50 period moving average coming into play in on a 4 hour chart. Notice the higher swings on this. Swing high, swing high, swing high, swing high, swing high. Ooh, interesting. We're at this level now where we're going to see a possible either bounce higher or we're going to see a break lower. Crossroads as such for this pair. So what we want to do is see, because the CTC, we've broken over and we're trading higher than the 200 period moving average for the first time in as many um, days. And this is could be a favorable sign for the US dollar. You can see the 50 period moving average acting as a prior support.
but the 200 was a, a prior resistance and the whole fact that the US dollar is now trading above that that level now but still lower than the 200 period uh, the 8200 mark it's just confirming now we're being squeezed but we can see a bounce and price can still stay above the 8170 in, in this case or the 8160 mark there thereabouts then or the 50 then we could see a possible bounce higher if you look at the um, hourly chart for example we have the 200 period moving which also not too far off so hourly we have 200 below us is a, pro is a possible uh, support level and it's the 50 period on a 4 hour which is the possible support area so just factor that in ideally you'd like to see a break lower than that you can see the the indecision you see with the US dollar at the moment against in the yen it's very all over the place it makes it hard to trade and ideally what we want to do is see a significant um, break up or above that to definitely give us confirmation. You can see on the 30 minute chart we're having lower swings which dictates that the momentum drive is negative and if we see a bounce at 8160, 8165 then that's just bouncing on that long term uptrend. So it's just a pullback and the overall trend to the upside. And if we get that bounce later uh, this morning going into we should see further progression to the upside for this pair. So look for a possible bounce. 8160 I mentioned is the first target primarily because we've had re resistance, 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 resistance. But there's a potential for a bounce to the upside because the 20 pair of moving average is going to play at 8160 and the uptrend is also going to be in play at 8160. That's it for today guys. Hope you have a fantastic trading day. Keep your trading simple. Follow the rules of the CTC strategy if you're using it. Make sure your support lines, trend lines, etc. are all in play and use the CTC as a guideline for that. Make sure your money management is in place and especially when you're trading uh, volatile um, setups, make sure that you're getting confirmations in, in your favor prior to placing the trades. Otherwise, you just get caught up in a lot of whipsawing. Um, so just follow the rules. Have a fantastic trading day and most importantly, trade serenely.